In this video, we'll go over the new Quick Orient tool, and then later we'll move on to Smart Sketch, and then we'll move on to some of these cylindrical axis tools. So I've loaded up this gear here, and I centered on import, so our origin is correct, but the gear is not at all aligned to any of the primary planes. So this is pretty quick to fix. All we need to do is select our gear and go into Move Mesh. With Quick Orient, all you need to do is select the plane to align to, the tool to use for alignment, and whether or not to auto reposition. When auto reposition is turned off, then your mesh will get oriented towards that plane. But with auto reposition turned on, then not only will it get oriented, but it will get moved as well. So I'll turn off auto reposition and select one of the teeth and it will align to the front plane. And then we're basically done. It's now aligned and centered. The next thing that we can do is show off some of the new smart sketch features. So I'll just quickly slice and select a, a small offset here. And Next, we can hide meshes and select the slice, the plane that was used to create the slice, and then go into Smart Sketch. What Smart Sketch allows us to do is pretty easily uh, select regions of our data and fit arcs, lines, and circles to them. So I've just fitted a circle to that, and then if I were to hit the OK button, then a new sketch would be created with that circle and whatever other geometry I want to fit. So I'll go back into uh, arc mode. So um, because it's a cylindrical piece of data, I know that the vast majority is going to be fitted with arcs. So I'll just use this region uh, as a demonstration. So all we need to do is just select uh, regions to fit and it will automatically fit uh, our selected geometry here. So if I selected a line, then it would fit a line to those points. We can also undo last and uh, choose to refit to uh, that, that same geometry. When auto connect entities is turned on, then we have the endpoints be automatically connected. So even though that region that I selected uh, wasn't quite at the endpoint here, it still automatically gets snapped. Uh, instead, if I were to turn this off, then it would no longer guarantee the connectivity of those endpoints. So we can just finish up uh, and create different arcs that represent our geometry and complete our sketch from there. So that looks pretty good. So uh, as soon as we click OK, then we have a new sketch created with that geometry. We can go back into Smart Sketch by selecting our sketch and the slice. And then if I wanted to do something like getting that uh, outside circle in, then I might use the paintbrush tool for that. So just like any other tool that uses selection, you can use uh, control, sorry, you can use shift and alt to add and remove from your selection. So if I selected this region here, but I didn't actually want to use that region, then I can just hold down alt to remove it. And because I want this exterior circle here, I would just keep holding down shift as I'm selecting to add new areas of my slice to that fitted circle and it keeps on refitting that circle to the new selection. And then if I didn't hold down shift and I selected a new region, then it would fit a new circle. So of course I can always undo last and click okay, and we can get that outside circle. And that's created in the same sketch as the rest of our geometry. And we can finish our modeling from here. All right, so the next tool that we'll be showing is the new pipe fitting tools. So first I'll just create a section view just to highlight the specific pipe that I want to work with. 
So I'll be focusing on the, the pipe that's at the top here. And once I have a good section view, then uh, the, the next thing we want to do is go into uh, create entity and go into cylindrical axis and then choose the region tool. I like to use the box selection tool for selecting cylinders. And what we need to do is just select the region that represents the cylinder. And it is a little bit noisy, so we could choose to clean it up using Alt to remove some of our selection here. And it'll just create a slightly better cylinder fit. Once we're happy with the results, we can go and click OK. And we get a center axis with the two endpoints based on our selection. So I can then go and create a plane reference geometry using the axis and one of the endpoints. And then use that plane to go into slice. And doing a multi-slice so we get accurate data. That way we get a full on circle around our cylinder. I can click OK and uh, I'll clean out the slice a little bit for now. Uh, we can go into Edit Mesh and one of the new features in 2.1 is being able to delete unselected points. So we no longer need to go invert and then delete selected. We can just delete the unselected. I'll also clean out the slice uh, just a little bit here. Once we're happy with the results, I'll click OK. And I can use the new uh, Smart Sketch tool and select the plane in the slice to go into Smart Sketch and select the circle and select the data that represents the circle. And we get a pretty good fit already. So I might remove some of the region from over there and that way it's a bit tighter of a fit. We can click OK and then go and extrude that uh, that circle up until the uh, vertex that represents the other end of the axis. And now we have a cylinder that represents this top level pipe here. We can repeat this process for the rest of the linear pipe regions and uh, get the endpoints in a similar fashion as well. So being able to automatically fit the uh, center axis removes a lot of the manual work required.